Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you some more TikTok outfits in GTA 5 online and um, we are going to be making them so hopefully you do enjoy this uh, but don't forget if you want to send me any of your outfits just at my username on TikTok which I'll have on the screen now so tag me in a post and I'll try and watch it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you do enjoy, or at least if you find this helpful, I'd really appreciate a like down below, so feel free to leave one if you want to. Uh, but also feel free to subscribe if you're new here, as I'd help out massively and be much appreciated. But yeah, that's all up to you, um, but before we get into the video, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. Quickly, if you would like any of these GTA cash and rank services, be sure to check out Digizani in the description below and you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order. Also, they do have a new giveaway site so if you'd like to enter for a chance to win any of these prizes, feel free to check the link in the description. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into the first TikTok. So starting off we have 6 tan jogger male outfits, I'm pretty sure I made that first one before, I think so, we're, we're going to be making this second one here, so uh, with the tan joggers, uh, st so to get these all you want to do is come to this clothing store, just over here on the map. Then once you're here all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, go to spawn location, set it to last location, then head up to jobs uh, and go on to hide options, go on jobs, set it to custom, so blue jobs should appear next to you. Then you want to register as a CEO, go to management style, CEO style and switch over to the warlord outfit, this one here. Then once you have this, all you have to do is go on the blue circle and press right d-pad. Then in this menu here, all you have to do is go to confirm settings and just start this up. Now in this first menu here you want to hit confirm and continue but in the second menu you want to wait a few seconds and then just quit. Then when you spawn out on foot you want to go into the clothing store, spam right d-pad to get on any menu uh, just as quick as possible and wait on here for a few seconds until you get kicked off the menu. So just keep waiting and you should eventually just get kicked, just like that. And you'll have the Warlord outfit, so from here retire from your CEO and then uh, it will let you keep on the outfit. So from here we can go and customise it. Uh, so for shoes we want to go on to skate shoes and then go down to the tan skate shoes. Quick these here. But after you have these you then want to go over to the uh, top section, so back out of this menu, go over to tops just here. And then you want to head down to just the regular suit jackets. So onto here the suit jackets and I'm pretty sure we had on just like the black scruffy jacket so head down to the black scruffy jacket uh, which is closer to the top just up here. Just go down and you want to find uh, this one just down here, uh, the open one, this black scruffy jacket here. Just go for this and then after we do this you want to head down to office shirts just at the bottom on the tops menu. So down to office shirts, just so, uh, business shirts even, not office shirts. And you want to find a tan shirt, so this one here, just buy this and equip it. Yeah, so just make sure you have the tan shirt equipped. Then you want to just back out of this menu, open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, body armor, show armor. You want to show standard armor, just like, just like that. Then go to the accessories menu, you want to go on gloves. And I think he had on like the black fingerless gloves. Yeah, so equip the black fingerless gloves. And then if you wanted to, you could add a tie to this outfit, uh, but it does seem to get rid of everything. Uh, but I think you can re-equip the, the armor and gloves. Uh, but yeah, if you don't, if you want a tie, feel free to equip it, uh, but they didn't have one on. Uh, but from here, go to the hat section, you want to go on combat helmets, and you want to find, I think it's a tan quad lens helmet, or like the brown quad lens helmet. It should look like tan. Yeah, so the brown quad lens helmet, just buy that one. Then after you have that, you want to back out of this menu, hold down right d-pad to put the visor up. Then from here, you want to go to the mask store. Now at the mask store, you want to go on the mask menu, and then you want to head down to ski masks. 
I'm pretty sure it's just a black tight ski at the bottom here. I'm not sure why I have glasses on, so if you have glasses on, just take them off. Uh, but it doesn't seem like I did anyway, but they just showed on the outfit. Uh, yeah, so ski masks, black tight, black tight ski. So this one here. Equip this and that should be the outfit fully complete. Um, so hopefully you like this. I'll rate this a solid 8 out of 10 probably. It's quite a nice looking try hard outfit. Uh, let me know what you rate it down below, what you think of it. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. So the next outfit is going to be a military outfit. And it's, it's going to be this black one here. So uh, it has the black heist pants which kind of look like uh, black joggers. Uh, but you do have the boots on them. Uh, so yeah, uh, to make this you want to come to any clothing store on the map. Then head over to pants. And you want to go down to utility pants. So on here, go on utility pants. And you want to equip the black heist pants. So uh, they should be the last ones. These ones here. Then after that, you want to go over onto the top section just behind you. And on here, you want to go down to utility tops. And then equip the black battle vest. So this one here, black battle vest. After that, you then want to go down to utility vests just underneath. Then go down to the light strike vest. This one here. Equip this with a light strike vest. So buy this one here. If you did want to go more extreme, you could go for this, but like this weird juggernaut looking one. The extreme battle vest. Uh, but I would go for the light strike vest. Uh, so go for this one. After that, you then want to go to the accessories menu. Over here, you just want to go on gloves, and I'm pretty sure it's just the black leather gloves they had on, so go for the black leather gloves. Although, if you wanted to, you could go for some black woolen gloves. Um, yeah, go for these, then you want to go onto the hat section, go down to combat helmets, and equip this black quad lens helmet. So, the one I have on here, the black quad lens. Uh, but after you have that, hold your ID pad to set the visor up, and then we do need the chemical masks, so head down to the mask store. Then down here, you want to go on the mask menu, head up to gas, and then you want to equip this chemical mask. So you could go for the other one, this one here, uh, but the chemical mask does look better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, if it doesn't let you equip this, you will have to save this outfit without the mask, and then you would have to get the one of the heist coverall outfits with a gas mask on, and then do the telescope glitch, equip this outfit, and then it would merge on. Uh, but it's just easier to do it this way, just getting it out of the mask store. But I know sometimes it doesn't let you equip it. Um, yeah, I'll rate this a solid 8 out of 10 again. Uh, let me know what you'd rate it down below, but let's move on to the next outfit. So next up here, we have a green and black outfit using the black joggers. Um, of course, if you don't have these, you can use any other black pants. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but what you want to do is first start off in the casino, then go to the casino clothing section, just over here. Go on tops and you want to go down to hoodies and then try and find that green and black hoodie. Yeah, so it should be this hoodie here, the green bigness waterproof. So the green bigness waterproof hoodie. Then from here you want to go to a regular clothing store. Now in a clothing store, go on the accessories menu, you want to head down to gloves and then I think they just had on the white and green armoured, so the very first gloves here, the white and green armoured, after you have these then you want to go to the shoe section, just over here, then go down to arena war shoes and equip the black and green light ups, so these here, the black and green light ups, after you have these you want to go to the glasses section by the front counter. Actually, before we do that, we do need to add a utility vest, so go on tops, go on utility vests, and you want to find the green straps vest, so this one here, it should be like a neon green, but from here, you now want to go to the glasses section. Now on this, you want to go onto the sports glasses, and you want to go down to the green urban skis, so this, these ones here, the green urban skis, just equip these, uh, but after you do that, you then just want to go to the mask store just over by the beach. Now once you're here, go on the mask menu, you want to go onto Diamond Casino Heist, 
then head up to number 76. So number 76, it should be like the snake skin, yeah the green snake skin uh, head gator or neck gator. Yeah so this one here, number 76, uh, just make sure you have it equipped and then you can back out. You can open up your interaction menu and set your hood to up on style. But yeah, lastly you have it done so hopefully you like this, uh, I would rate this a solid 8 again probably or 9 actually. Uh, I think it's quite nice, let me know what you think of it down below though. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. Next up we have a black and white outfit we're going to be making, so not not these two, uh, but it's going to be this one here. Uh, so hopefully you like it, I think it's a decent looking outfit, so let's get into making it. All you want to do is come to your clothing store, you want to head over to the pants section. Then on here, go on to cargo pants and you want to equip the light grey large cargoes. Actually before you do that, you want to go onto team pants and equip any of these, just for the boots. Then you want to back out, go up to cargo pants and equip the light grey large cargoes and as you can see you'll have the boots with them so they'll tuck in uh, but from here go into the top section just behind you and then on this you want to head down to sweaters so onto sweaters and you want to put the last one on sweaters so it should be the black combat sweater this one here the last one just buy this and then after you do you just want to back out of this menu, open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, body armor, you want to show standard armor, and after you have, you then want to go to the accessories menu. On here, you want to go on gloves, and then you just want to equip the black fingerless gloves, so these here, the black fingerless. After that, go on scarves and equip the white scarf. Yeah, so this one here, the white scarf. After you've done so, you then want to go onto the hat section. Now on the hats, you want to go onto combat helmets. Then you want to find the white quad lens helmet. So go down to the white quad lens helmet. Yeah, so this one here, well up here, this white quad lens helmet. Just equip this. And after you do, you then want to back out of this menu. You want to hold right D-pad to put the visor up. So equip the white quad lens, hold right D-pad to put the visor up. Just like so. Then from here, all you need to do is go to the mask store over here on the map. Now finally, all you need to do, go on the mask menu, go to ski masks. Then you want to find the white tight ski near the bottom, so the third up from the bottom. Just equip this and then that is the outfit done, so I'll rate this probably a 7 or 8, but let me know what you'd rate it down below. I think it's a decent looking outfit. Uh, but yeah, that's all the outfits done for this video, so hopefully you enjoyed at least one of them. If you did, I'd appreciate a like down below, so feel free to leave one. And if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Comment down below and I'll try and heart your comment. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.